they violated the law and they should be held to account for it. Strong words tonight after another rural hospital shuts down. Now 150 employees are struggling to get unemployment benefits. Jamestown Regional Hospital closed last week. It was the only emergency room in Fentress County, and now one state representative is calling for an investigation as employees claim the company may have broken the law. Our Chris Conti is following this story closely, and Chris, you have new details. And guys, when the hospital closed its doors last week, 150 nurses and staff and doctors were immediately let go. Now, though, they are finding out their health insurance premiums weren't paid. Some are even getting audited by the IRS, and one state representative says it's because the hospital's owner was breaking the law. The system's broken, and something's got to be done. The pain which runs through Fentress County right now is rooted in six decades of one hospital's existence. Uh, this facility is temporarily closed. No patients will be seen during One this hospital, time. which is now closed. It's just bad. I mean, it, it gives me a bad feeling when I drive by the hospital. And it's dark. Representative John Mark Wendell is from Fentress County. He lives near Jamestown Regional Hospital, which last week was shut down by its owners, Renova Health. It's devastating. Um, we've got to have a hospital. We cannot lose the hospital. Losing the hospital last week was hard enough. But this week, Representative Wendell started hearing from the 150 doctors, nurses, and staff who were laid off. As it turns out, Renova Health was apparently withholding money from their paychecks for health insurance, unemployment insurance, and Social Security. In recent days, employees have learned the company never sent their withholdings to the federal government or the state. They violated the law, and they should be held to account for it. Strong words, but Jamestown Regional staff are now struggling to get unemployment benefits. Some are being audited by the IRS, and many more are finding out they don't have health insurance. Why would the U.S government or the state of Tennessee allow that to happen. You'd think it can't happen, but it did. As a result, Representative Wendell sent a letter to the State Department of Labor today calling on them to audit Renova Health. Some people are in shock over it. Some people are mad. Shock that even a week later still hasn't subsided. And we've got to do whatever it takes to make sure we fix the problem. The current CEO of Jamestown Regional Hospital says issues related to unemployment benefits are being dealt with by the company's corporate HR team. There is no date as to when the hospital may reopen. For those needing help with unemployment, the Department of Labor is holding a special meeting on Friday. We have that information on our website and our Facebook page. Vicki.